Well, hello again, everyone. This is Bishop George W. Reese, Jr. Coming to, the, to you right now in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. And praying God blessings upon you. And on behalf of my wife, Pastor Mary E. Reese, and all the family of this Rock Christian Tabernacle, we are uh, praying God blessing and love upon you. And on today, we want to talk about being accepted. You know, that's a very, very crucial um, term and uh, situation that everyone deals with daily, just about, is uh, being accepted by uh, people, by their family, by their peers, by loved ones, friends, and everywhere. And we see this uh, as an area that affects our young people as well as our olders. Our elders, because uh, <laughs> when young people, you know, they grow up, then they come under what they call peer pressure and being accepted by those at the same age and in the same locality of going to school. And, and people just have a problem with being uh, able to be accepted, especially for who they are. And uh, as we grow older, there's a lot of things that we have done that we uh Prayed and now we got an older and we said, I wish I couldn't have done that. So people would have been able to accept me better. You know, it could have been an anger issue, could have been um, all kind of issues, you know, not being popular in school or <clears throat> in the community or, or wherever you're at. But I want you to know, it be encouraged on today. I want you to know that God loves you. No matter who you are or what you've been through, race, color, creed, male, female, God loves you. And he will accept you if you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. You can walk in freedom knowing that you, you have been accepted by God. And that's the best thing. Because God is the author and he's the finisher of this uh, of faith and race that we're in right now. He created everything. And if the great creator can accept you, there's no better gift than that. And then Paul wrote to the church in Romans, and he said in uh, Romans 5 and 8, he said, but God commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He didn't wait for us to get perfect. He didn't wait for us to do a whole bunch of good things for Jesus. But he said, while we were sinners, and that means when we were outside of the will of God, God still loved us. And he sent his son to die for our sins so that if we accept him as a personal savior, then we come into the family of God and all our sins are forgiven and wiped away. And then we have fellowship with God himself to be accepted by God. That's the greatest thing. And I talk with people from all walks of life, uh, things that they have done. I talk to people who have murdered people and people who just been bad and done things wrong. And if we really think about it, <laughs> we all have done things uh, outside the will of God. Because uh, for the Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So no matter who they are. You know, everybody, you know, we, we haven't lived righteous enough to receive this gift of salvation. But Jesus, his love for us, you know, he came down from on high to die for our sin. That if we would accept him as Lord and Savior, we'll be accepted back into the kingdom of God. Where in eternity, we will have fellowship with God for all eternity. Not just here, but in the eternal realm. We understand that this world is going to come to an end one day. All that we see, all that we are a part of this earth will all pass away one day. But the thing is, when we are accepted by God, then we can have peace with ourselves. And then we can have peace with other people because we are already accepted. It doesn't matter if people don't like us for, our, you know, who we are, our race or if we're born in an economic situation, some people are born in a wealthy situation and they don't still don't feel accepted. So if you have peace with God, then you have the best thing ever. 
So rest assured that when you give your life to Christ, you are accepted into the kingdom of heaven and have fellowship with Jesus, fellowship with Father, our God, our Father, and the Holy Spirit. So God bless you on today and walk in peace, knowing that you are accepted into the kingdom of heaven. God bless you until next time. Bye now.